Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can send an email using SendGrid and Wix Velo along with some custom JavaScript. And also, I'm going to show you how you can set the email subject, the recipient for the email, the body of the email, and also how you can attach a file and name that file, uh, which will be sent along with your email. So, first of all, in order to build a basic form like this, all you need to do okay first of all if you don't have dev mode uh, installed uh, activated you won't be able to see the code panel so just head over to dev mode over here and click on turn on dev mode once you do that click on add on the left hand side and under input you can make a selection of the input elements you want for example i want the user to be able to type in the, an email so I'll select the text input element and under settings, I'll set the type to email. I'm not going to go over the uh, verification of how you can verify if the email is valid or not using regex, uh, perhaps in a later video. But on this video, I'm just going to show you how you can send the email. And uh, yeah, it's like this and going ahead, if you want a rich text input element, which will allow the user to format their text using bold, italics, underline and other sorts of uh, formatting you can insert the rich text input element on the page and then lastly there is the upload button which the user can use to upload uh, or select a file which will be sent as an attachment with the email and under settings you can change the supported file format to document or image I'm not going to go over how video and audio will be sent this video it's just going to be showing you how you can send an image or document once you have everything set up it's going to look like this so you have your email subject body the file name which will be sent and the file which has to be selected from the user's device and then a button which will upload and send the email okay so let's get down to it First of all, you need to create two files on your backend. So click on the code icon over here, select this plus icon and then click on new folder. Name your folder attachment like I've shown in uh, the screen over here. And then under this folder, click the three dots and create a new JS file, new JS file and name it SendGrid. And once you've done that, create a JSW, a new web module, and call it process. Under process, we will be using uh, to, uh, the get file URL function to get the public URL of the file that has been uploaded by the user on the front end. And uh, the send email button just acts as a bridge between the JS file and the front end because you cannot call functions from a JS file directly from the front end. That's the reason we need to use a bridge. And under the sendgrid.js file, uh, you have Wix fetch, which you will import. And then you also need to input a SG mail function from the sendgrid mail npm. So in order to do that, under npm, click on the plus sign, install package from npm, and then search for at sendgrid slash mail. And then once you find it, click on install. As you can see in this uh, video that I've already installed it, so I don't need to install it again. And uh, on the top, you set your API key. Now this API key must come from your SendGrid account. If you don't know how to create a SendGrid account or create a SendGrid API key, there's tons of tutorials out there and a simple Google search like how to create a SendGrid API key or how to create a SendGrid account will do you just well. Do that and then uh, we just code the uh, function to actually generate the buffer from the public URL, uh, encode it in a base64 format and then this will be the function which actually sends the email along with the file attachment. So it receives the email which is the receiver email, the subject, the body, the file name and the file type from the front end and then it uh, makes a call to SendGrid via the NPM to send your email. You can change the from value over here. So this will be the sender name and between these two marks will be the sender email. Very important to put this and verify this on your SendGrid account as well. And then the subject body. 
attachment since we are only sending one attachment uh, the content which is encoded in base64 the file name and a file type which comes from the front end and that's it and of course you can send multiple emails uh, sorry multiple attachments as you can see that the attachments property is actually an array of your objects so feel free to explore into that if you want but for now this is it if you copy the code as it's written on uh, on the screen uh, you're gonna be just fine so let's go ahead and actually send an email with the image attachment so I'm gonna send it to hello at dude lemon which is our domain dot com subject is test image attachment let's write a body hi josh hope you are well weeks well regards sean i'm gonna name my file so i have the ability to name the attachment which i'm gonna name uh, meme image let's select the file now so let's go ahead and select this batman oops sorry that's a gif uh, let's select a jpg or png okay let's select this dog head and then let's click on upload and send now as you can see since the upload button has been disabled the file has been uploaded and it's waiting for the call from the back end and as you can see the undefined uh, has been printed in the console log which means the call has been made to sendgrid's uh, npm and uh, let's go ahead and refresh okay there you are so as you can see so don't worry about the be careful with this message it's just because we have a g suite account and uh, we have not verified the email address that is sending although the email says it's dudelemon.com it's not able to validate it's actually been signed by sendgrid.net so that's the only reason for the uh, flag. But anyways, the content, hi Josh, hope you are well, Wix fellow, regards, Sean, everything is good. And you can see the dog image over here. And it is in PNJ as we uploaded and it seems pretty high quality. So the quality has been preserved as well. Good to know that. So this is how you can send an email attachment using SendGrid and Wix below along with a few line of custom JavaScript code. Now, if you want the user to be able to send only documents, you can just change the supported type to documents and you are good to go. Hope this helps and take care. Have a nice day. See you in the next video.